Do you think Bigfoot and Sasquatch and Yeti are real? There is a chart here of what Bigfoot eats and you're not going to like this. It would be a bit weird if we were at a vineyard called Fainting Goats and they didn't have any. <laughs> Like you in the bathroom. <laughs> it really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Oh, I wonder. I just wonder. So, just up the road from Tolona Ridge is a uh, very busy road, actually, as you can probably hear. But this is on recommendation of Todd Conitzer from Switch It Up. And he said there is a Bigfoot expedition or Sasquatch. It's actually the Bigfoot expedition, the Sasquatch Museum. Mm. So uh, anyway, I'm fascinated by this because uh, I used to watch TV shows when I was uh, a kid with my dad okay. about stuff like this. And so I want to see if it's real. Natalie and Stephanie, who is slightly in shock, uh, is not quite as excited as I am about this. All right, we cut most of the museum and just came to the main part here. Um, so basically, they have a real life 36 inch Bigfoot. Shit. Feces. 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 That's good, because now I don't need to beep it out. Whenever, whenever I say anything like I can't. have to beep it out. <laughs> Whereas feces yeah, works. Feces so works. anyway, I'm I'm just yeah. I'm just gonna st yeah. stand here and just admire this. It's, it's, it's a big one. Um, it's a big one. Okay, I'm all done, Natalie. Let's go. <laughs> so um, anyway, right next to one of the most spectacular pieces, which is the 36 foot feces. Fix. It's 36 inch <laughs> feces. Um, it's something less. Uh, spectacular and this is a broken branch it's I mean I don't know how they prove that Bigfoot broke that branch I mean you should see this case over here there is a heart shaped stone that looks nothing like a heart I, how's that related to Bigfoot in any way uh, so they also have a lot of casts from Bigfoot feet which is amazing because they're Sorry. from three very different places and they're all exactly the same um, fascinating like what would create this I found so, a portrait of you and us it's named Hairy Man and Family <laughs> real funny aren't you real funny I found something in Steph so go on this is the hair that she left in the shower earlier yeah and I'm in the RV <laughs> So whilst they're messing about, there is a lot of other footprints here, casts of footprints. It's quite believable. They're all very similar. Definitely not human. There really is tons of them. <coughs> I just found some more over here. Oh, handprint. That is huge. Like that cannot be. Natalie, come here. This handprint. Yes. What else could that be? Oh goodness me. Probably some roots. You think that's tree roots? Could be. You ask what else it could possibly be. Maybe an upside down octopus fossil. Somebody's heart. So they have they have maps here that you can see where there has been sightings. And so there's three levels. There's green, which is a clear sighting, definitely not any other animal. It is a big foot. Then there is yellow, which is like mm, could be a big bear or something. And then there's pink, um, where they have been repeatedly seen for the same time in property for months, or in some cases even years, but they can't really see them very well. There is a ton in Florida. We live in Florida. Well, our home base is in Florida. We consider that home. A ton. There is loads. There is also Georgia. There is a lot. North Atlanta. So, anyway, I'm not going to show you the whole map. You'll have to come see it for yourself. But I didn't know they were in Florida. I thought they were... I thought they were always in, um, like up north, like yeah, Montana. Yeah, me too. I did too. I thought it was like Alaska and stuff. Crazy. I had no idea. <laughs> we should go Bigfoot hunting. I agree. So, Lawrence, we just found this. 
that in Tennessee is called an OP, right? Is it? Yeah, so it's got all the different names for it. Wood, yeah. And then I was like, wow, Southern Illinois really went all out with their thought process. And big, muddy monster. <laughs> 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 they put a lot of thought into that, I can well, tell. Florida. It's called Sunday. Cape. <laughs> Do you know something else now? There is a chart here of what Bigfoot eats, and you're not going to like this. <gasps> no. But also peanut butter. Oh, he only likes wild turkeys, <laughs> not domesticated ones. Okay, Lawrence, according to this uh, Sasquatch weight chart, you are you are a six foot Sasquatch. <laughs> How does that make you feel? <laughs> I'm not even six foot, and I weigh more than a Sasquatch. <laughs> and he's got loads of hair, which probably adds like ten pounds. So now it's a compliment. When someone calls me a Sasquatch, it's like saying I'm thin. Basically. Listening to Sasquatches. So they have headphones here where you can hear the Bigfoot recordings. For listening to. What did you think? <laughs> Sounding like you in the bathroom. <laughs> this. How cool is that? He wins every time. What do you think? Brilliant. 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. Okay. Do you think Bigfoot and Sasquatch and Yeti are real? No. 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 I know he's right here. Not at all. <laughs> Stephanie, no. do you think they're real? Uh, I think that there's something big in the woods, but I don't necessarily believe that it's a man that Eight looks mixture. like that. No. So, the, I agree with you. I, I think it's some kind of half-evolved ape yeah. um, that's a bit more intelligent than, than normal. But the things that get me, those footprints were pretty... There is a lot from around a lot of different places. Yeah. So it's not just like someone's got a, you know, but they can, you can fake those easy. The footprints are really easy to fake. And then the voice thing, they have a recording of the voice, <laughs> right? Which sounds just like apparently me in the bathroom. Um, but anyway, it sounds, uh, the guy was saying that they had some Navy guy analyze it and the human vocal cords, no human can get to those ranges yeah. so again so, it's more ape like sound. yeah but the creepy thing is that he said that is essentially a language because it sounded like they were specifically making certain noises in it which means that they communicate which means there is more than one so we don't know that and no one can prove it but okay anyway. <laughs> it's hearsay anyway it's a cool place it's um, cool yeah it's if cute. you're interested in it I think the people here really really are devoted to yeah. like believing and finding and, and they really really do believe so they've tried to gain as much evidence yeah. as possible including peanut butter yeah there was a um, jar of peanut butter there yeah. that could have been eaten by Bigfoot um, anyway we would say I would say come and see it if you're interested in this stuff I would say it was a waste of money on Natalie because she's not interested in the slightest so there you go it was 8 bucks to get in I'm a thumbs up Natalie's a thumbs down Steph is just happy to be here yeah Stephanie do you want to know an interesting fact <laughs> Is it off the top of your head? It's just off the top of my oh, head. Oh, okay. So, um, these are not fainting goats, by the way. No. Which is weird, because we're at Fainting Goat Warren. Yeah. Um, How do you know? Have did, you tried it? Did you know that fainting goats is actually, uh, it's like a disease in goats. It's like a hereditary disease. Okay. And the reason, they actually bred them to do that properly. Oh. Have you heard this? Did no. you know? So they bred fainting goats because it was there to protect all the other goats. So if a predator came along, the fainting goat would get so scared that it would just fall down and get eaten, whilst all the other goats ran away. Huh. Clever. Well, it is, but it's not very nice, is it? No. How do you actually know this information? Are you a goat expert? It's just it, off the top of my head. Yeah, it's but just seriously, it's the way you've just said that you think that fainting goats are bigger. Have you seen a fainting goat? Fainting goats, yeah, they're bigger than that. How, these when? are, when these are like Nigerian goat? dwarfs. I've seen them on YouTube, <laughs> and TV, and stuff. <laughs> Do I have to Google it right now and show you? Yes, because I want to know how you can tell the difference in size. What I want you to do is I want you to overlay this with pictures of fainting goats, just okay. to prove me right. 
I'll do better than that. I'll overlay it with the video. No, because what you'll do. No, I'm going to overlay a video right now. Okay, but you can't. You can't like enhance the goat to I'm be not bigger. I'm going to enhance anything. I think we all know that, that I can't enhance anything to be bigger. <laughs> These are definitely fainting goats. We've just googled it. It's obvious. It's not. She's lying. They're not fainting it's goats. Wrong. I'm right again. Woo! Come on, buddy. Scoot. And there he goes. Okay, bud. Shake it off. You can do it. You have to comment below if you believe that these are fainting goats or not. Unfortunately, Lawrence, I am Team Steph. I think there are versions of fainting goats that are this size. And it would be a bit weird if we were at a vineyard called fainting goats and they didn't have any. So I'm going to go with their fainting goats. It's just bullying. <laughs> So we spoke to the guy who does the wine tasting and apparently they are real fainting goats but because they've been here for so long and they've aged they don't faint as much because they're kind of used to everything so still don't believe it though because after that I said are they really fainting goats they don't look like it and he said I don't know I don't really know much about goats so we still don't know.